The Extra Report Suite features an end-user report designer that incorporates the full functionality and feature set of the report designer we ship for the Visual Studio IDE. This standalone application enables your end users to easily open existing Extra Reports layout definition files and modify the reports that can be printed, exported, or further distributed. In this video, we'll look at how to create a standard master detail report using the end user designer and then export the report layout. First, I'll launch the end user report designer from the demo center. Start the WPF demos and select reporting tool. Select a demo report and in the opened application, click run report designer. The end user designer appears and you can see that it has a modern look and feel, including a ribbon bar at the top of the application. I can open existing report definitions, create a new one using a wizard, or simply start with a blank report document. I'll run the wizard and choose to create a data bound report. On the next wizard page, I select a data source type which can be a database, entity framework data source, a custom object, or an Excel file. I previously specified a connection string to the Northwind sample database file. I click Next and run the Query Builder to create a new query. I'll drop the Categories table and select the required data columns. I click OK and then Finish to save the changes and close the data source wizard. Now I can access the data source fields from the field list on the right side of the window. Let's create two labels and bind them to the category name and description data fields. To do this, I simply drag the necessary data field items from the field list tree and drop them onto the report's detail band. Select both controls. I click them while holding the control key. Then I change the controls font settings. Next, I add a picture to the report. To proportionally resize an image within the control and to avoid clipping, I set the sizing value to squeeze. Let's switch to print preview to view the resulting document layout. To create a master detail layout, we need to add another query to the data source. For example, we can display all products that belong to each category. To do this, switch to the Report Explorer, right-click the data source item under the Components category, and click Manage Queries. Click Add to create a new query and run the Query Builder again. Select the Products table and click OK and then Finish. To close the Manage Queries dialog, click OK. Since the data source now contains two queries, we need to specify how they are related to one another. To do this, switch to the Report Explorer window and right-click the data source item again. In the context menu that appears, select Manage Relations. Next, specify the key fields by which the two columns are related and click OK. To add the detailed data to this report, I right-click on the report area and add a Detail Categories Products report to the designer. In the field list, I can now expand the Categories Products item and add the required fields to the detail report. Let's change the alignment of numeric data and apply a currency format to the unit price data. To make sure the detail report is always printed with a corresponding detail report, set the detail bands keep together with detail reports option. Let's switch to print preview to view the result.
Let's explore some of the data shaping capabilities provided by DevExpress Report. For example, you can customize the appearance of a control based on its current underlying data value. To illustrate this feature, I'll highlight unit price values exceeding some limit. To do this, I switch to the Report Explorer and right-click the Formatting Rules item. In the context menu that appears, I select Edit Formatting Rules. I'll create a new rule and set its data source and data member properties. Next, I specify its condition property and apply a logical condition to the bound data. Finally, I assign the appearance properties that should be set when the specified condition is met. Let's assign the created rule to the corresponding control and switch to the print preview. Another common task is to change a control's text based on a specific condition. To do this, I add a calculated field to the report's data source and specify its expression to display custom text when the units on order value equals zero. Let's group the detail reports data. To do this, select the reports detail band and in the group and sort panel, click add a group and select a grouping criteria, the discontinued field in this example. Drop the corresponding data field onto the created group header. Enable the group's show footer option and drop the units on order field onto this band. Click the control smart tag and click the ellipsis button for the summary property. Specify the summary function and its running range, group, in this example. Next, assign a summary format string and switch to the print preview. I can now save this report to an REPX file that can be reloaded into an end user report designer created for the WinForms, ASP.NET, or WPF platforms, or the extra report designer for the Visual Studio IDE. For more information on extra reports, please refer to the documentation on our website. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.